Hi guys and welcome to another Failure Friday. This week I actually want to talk about internet trolls or haters or whatever you want to call them. Um, I had one. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I didn't deal well with it. So let's talk about that and hopefully I can help you not have to deal with the same things or if you're going through the same things I can help you feel a little bit better about it. So about uh, six, eight months ago, I'm not actually sure when, and I really don't care to go look it up. Uh, I got an internet troll. So it was late last year. I had actually had a rough week beforehand. And then I got a message from my website from an internet troll. So the person had actually went on and got like a fake email and stuff like I'm not the best with computers but I I'm 99% sure I know who did it but anyways like it really doesn't even matter like that part of it doesn't even matter what matters is how I reacted to it and I didn't react well so I let it get to me I let it start this fire inside me and not a good fire not a fire where you're like I'm gonna go show you, watch me go just kill it in the acting game. I actually for about a week was just angry and mad and upset and and sad and I, I didn't trust anyone really for that week. Um, it was a rough week. So I'm, I'm, when I read it, I I had pretty much an idea of who wrote it. Um, then with a little bit of internet searching and stuff, I I'm I knew who did it. Um, at least in my mind, that's who did it, and that's fine with me. I don't really care. the The thing that was bad was I then let it affect other relationships. I I then I knew who it was, and yet I still was like, what if it was this friend? What if it was that friend? What if it was this person? What if it was that person? What if it was someone I didn't even know? And all of these things that were just, just crazy. Looking back on it, like there's no other word for it other than crazy. I let it get to me and I let all these emotions take a hold of me and they won. For that week, that internet troll won because I struggled to be who I am for that entire week. And um, the worst part was for most of the week, I didn't even care who I am as a person. I was just wrapped up in all of these emotions and the emotions were running me. And, you know, truthfully, I'm glad I went through it. Um, I, I don't think a lot of people would say that, um, but I am. I'm glad I went through it because after that week and now where I'm at, I don't think anything could be said that would affect me the way that did. Even if it was meaner, like truthfully, my internet troll was not that mean. Like looking back on it, like they didn't say half the things they could have said. Internet trolls can be so mean and say the worst thoughts people could ever have about other people. And yet mine was not that mean. It really wasn't. And I, um, I, I took it to heart. And you really can't. That's the biggest thing I can say is you can't take it to heart. You just have to take a step back and think about it if this was a friend and a friend was sent this email and tell them what you would tell them, like tell yourself what you would tell them. I didn't do that. I, I truthfully, I, I spoke to, I feel like every friend about it and I just let it control me for that whole week and looking back on it, what I should have done, I should have read it and deleted it. That's what I should have done. Read the email, deleted it. I didn't. I actually, if you want to know, I went on Facebook, I wrote a whole big thing back to the person and all this stuff and I made it public so they could see it even if they didn't follow me. All of this stuff that like, like I'm almost embarrassed that I did it. But at the same time, I'm not. I'm not, I, I was feeling emotions and never in mind did I feel like I attacked the person. Um, 
I feel like I just stood up for myself. And you know what? I've since deleted the Facebook post. Sorry if anyone's going to try to go back and find it. I've deleted it because it's not even worth it. There's, there's so much negativity in this world that I didn't want to add to it. Even if I was just resharing what someone had already said to me, there's no reason to add to the negativity that's out in their world. But I do know that during that first week, you couldn't have told me any of this. Like, I... I did not have a <laughs> a stepping away moment ever in that first week. But now that I have, um, know that if anyone's going through this right now, please look me up, send me a message. Brent, Joanna, the same thing. Um, we're always here for everyone. If you have questions, comments, concerns, if you just need someone to talk to, we're always here. Um, all of our social medias are are normally tagged in these videos. If not, you can find us through um, just our, our name search. I think pretty much all three of us come up pretty quickly when you just search our names. Um, so we're out there. But know that that person's problem was with themselves. And it wasn't with you. And how you react is the biggest thing. And I, I feel like I'm just reiterating what other people have said. But after going through it, I know that somebody could take cheaper shots and meaner um tweets or emails or whatever they want to send at me and it's not going to affect me because i realize it's on them i have never in my life went on the internet and decided i'm going to write something mean to someone just to do it um with without prompting like truthfully this person spent more more time on my life that day they went to my website they walked they read through it all they they knew enough about me in the email that they'd read through my website and they'd watched everything and then they decided to go write this email and i'm sure that wasn't the first draft and if it was like sorry to you but like they at least spent a half hour of their life in negativity and spreading it and i'm not gonna be that person anymore so you, you just you get to choose that you get to choose if you're going to add to the negativity or you're going to take it take the negativity and be like nope this is this is not something i'm going to add to and just delete it out of your life so those that's probably what i will do in the future but i know if you're if you've just received hate or anything like that it is hard to do that especially when you do not think you are at the level of hate i am not there um, I truly thought I would have to be on a TV show or movie or something would have to be out before I would receive internet hate, but it doesn't. You don't. You can be what you think is a nobody still and <laughs> get internet hate. And my, uh, my troll even alluded to that, but <laughs> whatever. Um, but no, I failed for that week. I failed. I let them win for that whole week. I was angry. I was mad. I, I didn't trust anyone. I had emotions I've never experienced before and I've never experienced since. And you know what? It's okay. I, I made it through that and I am on the other side. So just know you can get to the other side. Might take a week, might take more, but also it would have been so much easier for me to just delete the email. No one would have known about it but that person. And then they probably would have been more upset that I didn't. Did, did she read it? Did she get it? Like, they don't know. Like, I should have done that. Truthfully, looking back on it. Like, to me, that's that would have been more satisfying than what I did. Um, but anyway, I, I feel like I failed that week. Um, I feel like I'm also not giving many details. But it's because I really don't care to share much about what they said. It doesn't matter what they said. Truthfully, internet hate is internet hate. Um, they could have been meaner. It probably would have been worse if they were meaner. But whatever it is, it it hurts the person it's going to. So think about that if you're going to go send out inter, um, internet hate or anything to anyone. But also think if you're the person getting it, it's, it's more of a reflection on them. And then just decide if you want to even show that you, you got it or show that it affected you in any way it affected me so i put it out there and 
they're probably going to see this video and be like, yeah, I won for that week. Well, you did. I'll, I'll give you that. If that's the win you need to stop from going out and saying something mean to someone else, then good. You won. But um, I'm not going to be that person from now on. So I hope they have found peace or happiness or whatever they need to find because that's what I am. I have found that. I am happy where I am at right now. I um, I have found happiness with my life. Uh, I live in Los Angeles. How awesome is that? It is like 75 and sunny all the time. What? Like, it, I, I didn't know there were places in the world that were like this, that weren't like islands somewhere. But yeah, it's 75 and sunny all the time. It's nice, like, as we complained about humidity for like two days and it wasn't even that bad like life is good I'm happy I'm happy with what I'm doing with my life I'm happy with where I'm in I am I'm happy with the people in my life and that's that's a win in my book I'm not hurting anyone else I'm not hurting myself and I don't think my life and the way I live it should be anyone's business but my own and if I'm not hurting myself and not hurting anyone else, you should have no hate towards me. So that's where I'm at now. I hope that everyone out there can be there too. Um, and if you can't, then reach out to us. We can help you get there or we can help with anything we can. Um, truthfully, we're, we're always there for everyone. But just know like the internet hate is out there and it's just something you got to deal with. And I'm happy I got it over with now because I I don't think anything else will ever affect me. So I failed, but I hope you guys can all learn from my failure. And I hope that you guys can see that even if you're going through the darkest time, there's light. There is light at the end of the tunnel. So I hope you guys can all remember that. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Failure Friday and a wonderful weekend ahead. See you guys.